In a little more than 10 years, the U.S. could have a shortage of as many as 120,000 doctors. That's word from the Association of American Medical Colleges. That could have a disproportionately negative effect on people in low-income neighborhoods. A public health care plan in Los Angeles has launched an ambitious program to recruit primary care doctors to work in vulnerable communities. L.A. projects that it will be short 8,800 physicians in 12 years. That would be devastating. John Backus knew he had to do something. You either move the people to the doctors or you put some doctors where the people are, and we're attempting to do the latter. He got his board to give 5% of L.A. Care's reserve, about $31 million, for a three-pronged attack on the doctor shortage. Acknowledging that medical school costs push students with huge debt into specialties that pay more, L.A. Care gave eight students full ride scholarships and recently added eight more. All are minorities wanting to give back. I definitely want to work in underserved communities. It's a place that I come from. My family still lives in South Central Los Angeles, suffering from the different disparities that, you know, exist. It's really personal in the sense that it's what my parents, my parents right now even suffer through. I'm going to school to become a good doctor and potentially a community advocate. Second, LA Care's loan recruitment program will repay new physician debt up to $180,000 if the doctor continues to serve in the safety net for three years. Third, network clinics get grants of $125,000 for each new doctor recruited. Bacchus says the program has already had impact because 32 new primary care doctors and clinics have applied. The payoff is a long way off, but we figure we've got to devote a portion of these resources to that as well. Bacchus hopes his board will make the same $31 million commitment to elevating the safety net for the next five years. That would mean 40 more medical school scholarships and placement of up to 400 doctors.